And we're back, this is video number 5 on how to learn Inkscape and this time we're going to talk about guides, grids and rulers. The rulers, these are these lines at the top and on the left. You can see right now it's set to millimeters and you can zoom in and zoom out with plus and minus on the keyboard. If we open the document properties on the file, we can adjust what we've got here. So for example, let's choose page and change it to pixels. So now it's not millimeters anymore, it's pixels. You can see that we've got a page in the center with a shadow. And we can adjust that with these boxes. For example, get rid of the shadow or the page entirely. And we can also change the color of the shadows. Under guides, the important box is that we want to have the show guides selected. And we can drag guides out of the rulers, so from left to right, top to bottom, or diagonally. You can adjust the colors, so the highlight color is red in this case, so whenever I drag them, they turn red. And the guide color is blue. I can lock them, so when I've got that box checked, I can't move them around anymore. When I uncheck it, I can move them around. You can set guides for your page by clicking on this button. If you want to delete them individually, you can drag them into the rulers or just click on delete all guides in this document properties. Let us create a rectangle, so it has a red fill and no stroke. And now we can turn that into guides on the object. There's the function object to guides. And as you can see, we've now created these guides that go from top to bottom and left to right entirely. Make sure you've got the snap function enabled and you've got lots of further functions where you can adjust that on the right hand side. And if I now create a new rectangle and I use the cursor tool and move that around, it snaps to the guides and to the corners, just like this. So that comes in handy, but make sure you've got it enabled. On the view, you can go to show and hide to get rid of the rulers or simply use the short key, which is control R. So if you click control R again, they're shown. You've got another guide box right there and you can see it has unchecked the show guides in my document properties. So this is kind of like the same box. We've got the option to create grids and by default you've got rectangular grids just like this. Create a new one and then select it under defined grids and readjust it or simply remove it. The second option that's there by default is not a rectangular but an axonometric grid. So it has the typical angles for these axonometric designs. Let us remove that as well. You can see we've got some other snap options here, so you might want to check that out. You can also add the page grid right there on the view. And these are the most important things I wanted to talk about when it comes to grids, guides and rulers. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.